Hi, welcome to another new video. So um, as you can see, this is again watercolor sample swatching video. So these are from uh, the Supervision's uh, new series. They're four, four sets of colors um, and they are the uh, Mika, Rock and Mika layered watercolors. So meaning they added, um, it's a mixture of Mika powder, you know, those shimmery, um, chameleon, uh, interference, uh, duochrome pigments plus the watercolor pigments. So in this um, series of videos, so I'll be swatching one set in one video and then I'll do like a summary at the end of everything to kind of summarize um, you know the, the whole thing whether it's worth getting any of these sets at all and if if it's they are light fast and, and, and the other things things that you should know about the set. So the four sets are uh, the gift of whale, flower, fire, Ocean Paradise um, and the Mermaid Coast. So they don't come like that, of course. They come in a nice set um, of like, um, I think about 10 times 8 mils or 5 mils of uh, watercolor. It comes in a beautiful box, um, but I didn't do that. What I did was I got um, samples. So instead of the pens, normally I will buy like half pens um, of like 2 mils. I got these called, they call these the wet samples. So they are like the remain moist because these are all like um, in, a, in a kind of a packaging where it's supposed to be airtight. So all these colors are still moist when I received them um, and, and they, you know, and, and when I painted, they were all still wet. So that I would start the video with flower fire first. So flower fire is a funny name because it, it's, it means like flower means hua, hua and then fire means huo in Chinese. So hua huo. Mm, it could be hua hua, you know, because hua hua is fireworks. So I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it's supposed to mean fireworks or they just want to say it's like a flower on fire or yeah, things like that. So let's go and swatch this and show you how the colors look like. The first color is 301. Um, it is made up of Mika and PY3. Um, when I swatched it, I thought it looked like a brown with a bit of like purple uh, shimmer. I did a chromatography and from the chromatogram, you can see the pink shimmer um, center. And, and this center is surrounded by a ring of uh, yellowish brown. The next color is 302. So 302 is made up of Mika. Um, and PB15. So PB15 is your phthalo blue. The mixture looks really purple and when you paint it, I think it, you can see it more like a, like a kind of a purple color uh, with some sort of a magenta, uh, pinkish magenta shimmer uh, on top. So in the chromatography, you could see that pink uh, shimmer particles dropping into the center and it is surrounded by a ring of uh, purple, dark purple color. The next color is 303. Um, it is made up of Mika and PG7. So PG7 is our phthalo green. Um, and when I swatched it, I thought it looked a bit um, perp, like dark grayish, grayish color. So it has this like background of gray and then um, some like magenta shimmer that's floating on top. In the chromatogram, you can see the uh, pink shimmer in the center and this center is surrounded by a ring of uh, gray green color. The next color is 304. 304 is made up of Mika, PG7 and PB15. We've already seen PG7 and PB15. So the color looks like a steel blue uh, with some sort of like a um, silverish shimmer on, on, the, on the top. And in a chromatogram, you can actually see three rings. The inner ring is made of the um, silver shimmer, followed by an outer ring of green and finally blue and like a bit of purple. Next, we have 306. 306 is made from Mika and PV19. So PV19 is your quinacridone rose. Um, it's um, interesting when it paints, it looks like a bit of like an orange uh, with a bit of pink and also like a gold, gold color, gold shimmer at on top. The chromatogram is made from a center of gold shimmer and uh, with a ring of pink color um, around it, surrounding it. The 
The next color is 310, so 310 is made from Mika and PR146, so it's like a bluish red color. So when it paints, it looks like a magenta um, color with um, some sort of a, a bluish uh, shimmer on top. And the mixture separates out into a center of like a blue shimmer and are surrounded by a ring of like a brownish red color. The next color is 319. 319 is made up of Mika, PG7, and PB15. Ha! Huh, we have seen this mixture uh, before. Um, and when we paint it, I, f I think it does look a little bit more greenish. There's actually more PG7 in this. And those gold flakes just uh, sitting on top, uh, looking really nice. And the mixture separates out into a dark, uh, in a gold center, uh, surrounded by a greenish ring. Next is three two zero. It's made up of Mika PG seven PB fifteen. Ah, it appeared for the third time. Um, and this color paints like very blue, um, and it has got a purple shimmer at the top. Interestingly, this mixture separates into three um, components and one is the purple shimmer in the center and we have a ring of uh, immediate ring of blue and finally a ring of uh, purple. Next, we have 328. 328 is made from Mika and PB28. So it's finally something granulating. Um, and when you paint it, it is pretty interesting. You do see um, a bit of like uh, the green are coming out and some purple and and on top of it you have the shimmering uh, reddish pink particles the mixture separates into a, a reddish center shimmering center with a ring of blue The last color is 330, so it's made from Mika and PG7. So we've seen PG7 a few times already. Um, this color paints very green, um, as you can see uh, from the swatch over here. Um, and it does have like a, a shimmer layer um, on top of a of magenta red color. And the mixture separates out into a, a center, shimmering red center. And, and a ring of uh, green, um, very bright PG7 green. And here are the swatches for the set of color from Flower Fire. Um, I find this color very interesting because um, they, they do give you different looks depending on how you move the paper. And, and that gives you a lot of texture and it gives you a lot of ways to, to make it interesting. So what's your favorite color? Do let me know in the comment section. I will review the other sets in the upcoming videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see similar content. See you in the next one. Bye!